welcome back everyone to another episode of Tyler's Fishing Post and uh, I'm exhausted because I just filmed all the b-roll and yeah a gimbal and a heavy camera makes a heavy setup so anyway oh and by the way all the equipment I use in my videos they will all be linked in the description below if you're ever curious oh hey Tyler what what GoPro mic do you use or like what GoPro do you use all the stuff will be linked in the description if you're ever curious about what the equipment I use to shoot all my videos and today we are out on Lake Griffin beautiful Lake Griffin glass calm beautiful look at that Sun coming up let's get you in focus there that you can kind of see the Sun look at that look at that Sun coming up and anyway we're gonna be pre-fishing for a tournament that we have next Saturday so we're gonna go fish around try and find some spots I mean we came out a couple days ago and didn't really do very well I mean we did okay I'm not sure if I uploaded that to YouTube I might have so if you guys are watching this, you're probably seeing this in a few weeks after I filmed it. So anyway, water temperature is, let me check to see what the water temperature is. Water temperature is 86 degrees, really warm, sun's out, it's glass calm, it's gonna be a hot one today. Last time we were out here, it was pretty windy, so it was nice, but I mean, it is gonna be hot, very, very hot. It's probably gonna get up to like 100 degrees today. Yes. So let's just get started and make sure you always cover up because I mean if you look I've completely covered up with jeans and everything because I do not want to get sunburned make sure you sunscreen got a little buff here and yeah we're just gonna get started let's get going and I'm gonna show you guys all the b-roll I just shot like now so enjoy the juicy b-roll that hurt my arm so bad guys oh man I don't even care if this fish gets off just broke my arm jeez oh man that hurt I got it oh man guys that hurt hurt my arm jeez it's drawing my frog too oh ah, that hurt Nice guys, first fish of the day on the frog, about a pound and a half. And yeah, just up in here, been fishing for a little while. Finally got the first fish. Sweet. Like, I set the hook and my uh, rod butt slipped and it like was on my muscle. So when I set it, my rod butt went right up against my muscle and it's like, because it's usually going up against like the side, your side, and just you set it like that and when I did that it was right up against my muscle and it was just oh that hurt so first fish of the day pound and a half let's keep fishing you got one is it nice he's probably not big I might as well get the net Never know. Oh my gosh. That's it. Uh, he's not huge. Oh, he's skinny. Man, that head came up. He looked pretty big. Yeah, guys, these fish have been like popping and schooling in here, chasing bait. And I've been throwing like a green little square bill. And they haven't really been wanting that, which is weird. My dad's throwing this like, that like Yozuri, kind of a chrome with orange in it. And fish ate it. Get the hook out. There we go. Nice. He's a long fish, but he is skinny. He's probably two. Nice fish. Second fish of the day. Sweet. Oh, 
yeah, see, it's just a thing. We don't know where they are yet, which is weird. Like, it didn't seem like they were in, uh, I don't know, they kind of were in the state park, but not like biggins. Oh my gosh, does he have it? There we go, this is a nice one, net. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh guys, here we go, here we go, nice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh guys, holy cow, holy cow. Oh my gosh, get in the net, get in the net, no, 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 no. Get in the net, get in the net. Yes, guys, here, let's go. Jeez, guys, sweet, he's, He's not, man, he's pretty big. This is a five. Sweet. Five pounder, let's go. Jeez. This is the same fish attractor that we were fishing during the two fish challenge. And there's fish here. That was so awesome. So I was doing something a little bit different. I was throwing the Jumbo Red Speedworm. I was throwing it in the fish attractor. I wasn't really getting anything. But since it's summertime, they want something bigger. So I switched over to the Magnum. I was dragging it, not getting anything. So what this fish was doing, he was in the fish tractor, and instead of dragging it, I was popping it. And I was doing it really slow. So I'd bring it up, and the tail would be going crazy. So I was just bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up. And at the, what, as soon as I got it up to the top, I just felt a thunk. And I was like, oh, man. Nice, guys. He's like five. Let's go. Now we get a good spot for the tournament here. Nice. And I was kind of questioning. I was like, are they up shallow? Are they offshore? I mean, summertime, they could be anywhere. And I was like, man, we weren't catching them up shallow. Last time we were out here, we were fishing up shallow a lot. But now we kind of know a little bit more what to target. And we're probably going to just start targeting like offshore structure. Probably not the grass. We've been fishing the grass and haven't really been getting a whole lot. But they're in like this offshore structure stuff. So hold at. Oh, he's not five. Four, one. Sweet guys, four pounds, one ounce, nice. Let's go, let's keep fishing. There we go, got him, got him. Is he, oh my gosh, this is a nice one. Oh, stay on, stay on. Oh, nice guys, another nice one. Here we go, he's not, he's not net worthy. He's just, nah, he's just wrapped up. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just flipped this fish. Oh, he is skinny. Look at that, completely choked it. Put the power pulls down. Nice. Nice fish, guys. He choked the frog. Man. Get this frog out of here. He's skinny, though. That's too bad. Like, these fish in here aren't too healthy. Nice. But look at that. That's a, that's a four if he was a little bit fatter. Nice, guys. Another nice one. He's not four. Three, two. Three, two guys. Nice fish. There we go. There we go. Got him. Nice one, guys. Nice one. Here we go. Flipping. Get in the boat. Yes. Nice, guys. That was awesome. Flipping right up against the seawall. Nice. Behind this Kissimmee grass. Just flipped it in there. Oh, right there. Put the power poles down. Just flipping and just feeling. It was tight. Like, it was tight. He didn't pull back too hard, but it was tight. It felt nice. Nice one, guys. Another two, three pounder. I'm going to weigh him and then let's keep fishing. Hold that, guys. Oh, will it go three? No. 215. Sweet. Two pounds, 15 ounces third fish. Let's add it to the collection. Nice. Just getting a picture at the end of the day and gonna let him go. Let's keep fishing. Well guys, midday update. We're doing pretty good. It's really, really slow. Kind of one here, one there thing. And something really funny just happened. You guys may all know Andrew. I'll link him in the description just because, just for fun. I mean, and he made a post where he was, he caught some nice fish and, uh, and actually just go 
to the post. I'll link it down below. It's super funny. I'll actually leave two links there because one's his post and one's my post. So anyway, go click on those if you want to laugh because, I mean, those are, that's pretty funny. And just look and see at the comments under the post on Instagram. I'm not going to give it away, but if you look behind me, yeah, we're just randomly fishing. And uh, I was looking and I was like, that looks just like the photo. And it was. That's so funny. So anyway, we're probably going to get out of here. Might fish a little bit more and see what happens, but it's really, really hot. It's about to rain. Clouds are moving in. And just keep on fishing. Well guys, we're done. We didn't even leave this canal since I did the last clip. We're getting out of here because it is so hot. Water temperature is almost 90 degrees. I just put everything away. Bam, beautiful. Boat is clean, gone. No rods, everything's put away. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go back to where we caught these fish and we're gonna release them there because we aren't gonna release them in like a hot canal. We're gonna release them to where, like, where they're caught because we don't want we don't want them to die or anything like that. So, yes, we're going back to the fish tractor. We're just gonna release most of them there because that's the general area where they're caught. And yeah, let's go across the lake. Well, we are here and my hair is sticking up. Let me get my hat. That's better. We have it. We're here. We are here at the fish tractor. We're gonna let these fish go and then we'll go to the outro. Well guys, these are the fish of the day. This one was four and the other two were like three. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna let these guys go right here. You can see the fish tractors right behind us. So yeah, let these guys go. Five fish, jump. Will he jump for us? Will he jump for us? Nope, there he goes. Here you go. Will he jump? Will he jump? Oh, oh, he's trying to get back in the boat. And the last one, will he jump? No, he will not. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like and don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell and comment down below what you wanna see me do on my next video. And like always, if you'd like to subscribe, click right down there. If you wanna watch some more videos, click right over in there and I'll see you guys next week for an awesome fishing video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.